Hey guys, it's day 52 of being a boy, and today, by popular demand, you can ask me anything. Yeah, we're taking super chats today, so for the low, low price of £10, or just over an hour's pay at minimum wage, you too could talk to this vanguard of the proletariat. So, our first question comes from Dave and says, What's your reaction to days of boyhood misogyny trending on Twitter? Look, I know I sound frustrated, and I'm, I know this is probably me giving them what they want, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rising to it, but, and all the rest of it. Maybe I should just sit back and watch myself trend, well, well th thousands of anonymous profiles, none of them with their own identity, none even with their own pronouns in the bio, like, and when you click on them, half of them are citing far-right publications, like Morning Star. Quotes from people of net like Clara Zetkin or Rosa Luxemburg, like who the fuck is that? Or like Alexandra Kollontai or fucking Nadezhda Krupskaya. Sounds like a fucking Putin shill. Maybe I should just ignore it and stick my fingers in my ears and all the rest of it. Ignore the death threats and the threats of violence I get off the back of it. Oh yeah, speaking of threats of violence, don't think I've forgotten you, Sophie, in year eight. Fucking come down the school, spit on you myself, bitch. But this is. You know, what What matters is that this is a dark, dark period. Sorry for uh, trigger warning for mentioning periods, by the way. Not, it's not just women have them. There's a dark, dark period, again, for LGBT people, particularly for trans people, just ricocheting, as we can see, and, 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 and affecting LGBT people more generally because we drag the rest of them into it. So, look, all I'm saying is, have a go. You're not going to break me. You're not going to drive me out of public life because I'm perfectly comfortable sharing toilets and refuges and changing facilities with men. I'm not going to be forced to stay in the house with the urinary leash, unlike some of you older, disabled, traumatised birds. <laughs> You've tried for a long time, honestly, haven't you? <laughs> Calling me out of touch with the youth. I don't even turn 40 for another couple of years. And you can try and get me trending all you like. You can try and redefine misogyny. You don't have any examples of me being misogynist, by the way. From, from, from wanting to knock up some random bent and traffic her baby to your claims that people have been driven out of The Guardian, which, which nobody at The Guardian believes, by the way. I don't even work for The Guardian. I'm, I'm freelance because it makes me more relatable to the plebs on zero-hour contracts. It never happened! You've made up things that don't actually have any basis in material reality! You can't just take words that already have clear meanings and warp them into meaninglessness for your own political agenda. <sighs> That's enough of that particular one. Sorry to have to start with that, but uh, there we go. So, time for a question for my next simp. Love ya!